With Guyana's Low Carbon Development Strategy 2030 focusing on sustainable development, Prime Minister Brigadier Retired Mark Phillips on Wednesday commissioned the Guyana Water Incorporated, GWI's first renewable energy project, a 300-kilowatt solar installation at the Port Morant Water Treatment Plant. The Prime Minister highlighted that the renewable energy project will bring reliable water supply to the more than 16,000 residents living in Region 6. What we are doing here today is ensuring that there is little or no further disruption if, for example, there is a disruption right, in GPL supply of electricity, we have solar, and that will kick in. Phillips added that this step will ensure there is clean and dependable water access to the 18 villages along the quarantine coast. Now, with the integration of this solar system, we are fundamentally enhancing its reliability and efficiency reducing dependency on traditional energy sources. According to the Prime Minister, this is the first of eight solar farms that will be integrated into Guyana's water treatment facilities. As Guyana steadily continues along its path towards energy security, sustainability, and climate resilience, the completion of this photovoltaic system is a defining moment. He pointed out that facilities that rely heavily on water resources will see improvement and will offset 292 metric tons of greenhouse gas emissions annually. The European Union invested £653,364 through the GCCA Plus initiative with technical support from the Energy and Resources Institute in coordination with the Ministry of Housing and Water and the Department of Environment and Climate Change. For AGP Nightly News, I am Daisy Richards.